Hey guys, welcome back to Marcus's Place. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to get this money thing that's on the right. Which you can add money by either having a command block or typing something in similar to this. Now, as you can see, I have $100. So, this is to show you exactly how to do that and also make a shop. And I'm sorry about my voice and if you hear me sniffling because I am kind of sick. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is have command blocks, or you can just do these on commands, but I prefer them in command blocks. So, the first command is slash scoreboard objectives add whatever you want the Thing to say and then we put dummy at the end um, this one is to display it slash scoreboard objectives set display sidebar and then the same name you used over here uh, this one's the remove one it's slash scoreboard objectives remove and the same name you've been using so this is why I have the remove one is because this is actually uh, PvP server that I made, and it is a Skywars, there's the lobby, so people keep on leaving and probably will never join again, so it just says player offline, so that's why I have a remove one, so I don't have like 50 player offlines over there. Uh, so after that, to make the shop place I'm just gonna put an example of how you might have the shop okay so let's say here's your shop that's the wrong word but it's fine oh yeah and if you guys are wondering how to put colored words I guess I can do that here too you hold this symbol down, and you put that, and then you put a number, one through zero, I think it is. Yeah, you put a number, one through zero. Uh, for an apple, I would probably put four. And then I'll just put, like, uh, let's say, actually, I'm going to put a two. Then the apple will be... $10. So now we have a price tag, the apple, and the button. And if you can see my money $100 on the slide. Right when I click this button, it's going to charge me, and I get an apple. See, I have two apples now. And I'm just going to take the apples out, and I have an apple now. Uh, so, um, how to make the actual shop? It's pretty simple. You're going to make this first one that says scoreboard players test at P, the name you had, uh, 0 through 1 under the price you want the item. And then over here, it's going to be title at P action bar. This is what I put, purchase failed, need more money. That's supposed to be failed, I don't know, I didn't complete it though. Uh, and you can put anything here like... Failed is anything you want, but make sure to put action bar. Uh, so I'm going to show you how it is when I have no money, so I'm just going to keep buying apples. Okay, I'm going to try clicking it, and it says purchase fail, need more money. Um, and then over here, it's slash scoreboard players test at P money, the price the item is, and then, um, that number that starts with the one and ends with the nine nine is nine digits long. I just don't know how to say that number, so I'm not going to say it. Um, this is slash scoreboard players remove at p whatever the name is, and then the price of the item. This one is the command that gives you something. So slash give at p and whatever the item is. Uh, and make sure all of these are on 
chain conditional and always active. All of them are on it. And it'll be probably really nice to have all of this. And I'm going to show you the shop I have for myself. Well, not for myself, for the Skywars game. So these command blocks right here, this one's the TP one that teleports you to the shop. This one's, um, it puts you in adventure mode, so you can actually go break the signs that I have, but you can still use a button. This one says, remember, do not buy until max is completed, because I have a kill button to make sure no one has items that they're not supposed to have. And also, so I can kill everyone down here, so they spawn up here, and their items stay down there. Uh... Oh yeah, the button, duh. Okay, this one actually says TP, IP, then the coordinates of the shop. So right when I press this, it'll say the message. And then I haven't finished the sh shop yet, and like, I'm in adventure mode now. So, I cannot break these. I can turn these, but I cannot break anything here. Not the glowstone, nothing. Uh, these, they all say need more money. Because they don't have any money. <laughs> uh, I don't know why these ones are gone. That is a little weird. I think one of my friends did it because the only way in here is breaking the glowstone or breaking the bedrock or the TP. But the TP makes you. Yeah, I don't get that. But when you go back over here to spawn, when you click it, it puts you in survival and teleports you back to the lobby. I make myself repetitive really quick. Okay, um, if you want to check out this lobby, I'll show you right now. My friend, I think his name is Neo X Tangent. He actually built all of this, so I thought it was really nice that he did that. You have a little room here. You have another unfinished room. Unfinished room. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this, I don't know what it is. I guess it's just like a gel cell or something. Oh yeah, I didn't show you this part right here. We have this other room with three beds. I think he built this for the three operators that we have in the game. Come over here. He has like a little watch or something. I think this is actually his room. Because I've heard him talk about it before, so I think it's his room. So that's pretty much it for the video, I'm just showing you the shop, and if you're wondering, the shop, it uses the same command block as the Apple Giver, and it's crazy. I don't believe I updated these ones because I did them wrong at first, oh, I did, except this is supposed to be conditional and always active. I need to fix all of them. But that's it, and I'm gonna fix these really quick. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing day. Peace out.